This is awesome. This is the best thing I've ever seen. The community had nothing to do with sleeves. We didn't even know about it until just a few minutes ago. The community said, screw this. This is our plaza and took it back, took it back. You hear the drums, the drum circles doing it, you know? Marketeers are here, you know? It, 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 it's free speech at its finest. Well, they had no right to close it to begin with. You know, just in the thought that if you're unhoused, you're filthy, and therefore if you occupy a space, then it's contaminated. I don't think so. And I think the people have spoken about, they didn't want to be playing their drums and laying their blankets on a sidewalk. This is their plaza. It was yesterday and it is today. How important do you think the right to free speech is to us as a it's the basis of our whole, you know, country, our whole constitution. It's the cornerstone. They knew they couldn't constitutionally stop what was going on. So they had to say that we were filthy once again. I don't see it. Do you see it? It seems like this is what America is about, the right to have, this is our public space. That's correct. Obviously, everyone here agrees with you. Is there anything else you want to say, Trip? Oi! As cliche as it is, the first thing that came to mind was, ain't no power like the power of the people, because the power of the people don't stop. Free speech is, means just that. It's the, it's the, it's not just the right, but it's actually the responsibility to speak out when, um, when you see BS, you know. And and there's a lot of BS going around, a lot of stereotypes, a lot of myths, a lot of um, just plain bigotry uh, going out around the unhoused right now. And it's you know, there's a lot of reasons people are on the streets, and to just you know, group them into this category of unclean and untouchable is just, it's really sort of predominating right now and it needs to stop. Um, you know, people underestimate the value of agitation and people hear the word agitation and they might think that it's all about being a jerk, but it's not. It's that you can be a peaceful, calm, nonviolent agitator. And if you read Gene Sharp's Dictatorship to Democracy book, it is a key element. People say, oh, we have the system you can work within. But, um, you know, look at the timetable for that system usually. It's, they're talking about, you know, things in terms of months and years when people are going to be on the street in the freezing cold rain in about a month. So, you know, don't, I wish people would really embrace agitation. It's, it's you know, obviously it's what gets things working. They had, they had to have an emergency meeting to deal with this. That in itself was a victory. And, you know, public opinion, yeah, 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 it's important. But, you know, there's a lot of falsehoods out there that are shaping public opinion. And, you know, it's important to, you know, speak out to people and try to correct those false impressions. But, you know, it, public opinion does not trump the First Amendment. Uh, the, the public opinion does not trump the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that we signed in 1948. Section 25, Article 1 says that, you know, people have the right to, you know, to get be taken care of, you know, to paraphrase it. You can look it up for yourself. And we signed that, we are legally beholden to that, and we are majorly out of compliance with it. This is beautiful, I didn't expect this. I don't know how many people out here realize they're committing civil disobedience right now, but, you know, take it where you can get it, you know? Power to the people. I'm really tired of the oppressive state that we uh, that we are all in fear of as unhoused people that they're gonna come in and bust us at any time. It's like, you know, when we see the cops, we hear the Darth Vader theme from Star Wars now, you know, and it's just get, I'm really sick of them being able to come in and tell us, oh, you can't be here. And yet they, they called this like a, 
bio waste and all this stuff and we're still having Saturday market around it. So to me, it seems like they're just beating around the truth. They don't want to solve a problem. They just want to get around with all this red tape. We need to get these people a place to be because it's important. Uh, they need to be stopped being harassed when they sleep. And all in all, I'm, I'm grateful that they uh, they took over the plaza and I think we need to keep protesting and just fill up as many places with as many tents. It doesn't matter what you're active about, be active and give your voice and go out there and do something, whether it's your talents with your art or your speaking. We just need to stand up against the government and, uh, and fight for our rights. And you know, among all these rights, sleep is a human right and these people need to sleep.